Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy god artist here. Wanted to show you some real perspective with this. You see, the paw is actually like almost as wide as the head because, well, it looks almost as wide as the head because of the perspective, because it's reached forward. And I just love playing with these perspective pictures. I mean, all pictures are, but we tend to the, call the ones with the trickier perspective or the interesting perspective, perspective pictures. That's a line for the eyes. And they're just kind of closed, sleepy eyes. And get that little nosy in there. And I mucked with the nose and mucked with the nose in this one. And I wasn't really happy with it all the way through. So I actually fixed it off camera after. So the one you see, the picture you see in the thumbnail image for this video, it, I'm a lot happier with. So that's because I fixed it off camera after. Mucked with the toes a bit. I feel like I muck too much with this drawing. I don't know, sometimes I don't muck and sometimes I do, and I guess it's just all part of the learning process. I don't know, there's something in there that sometimes triggers me to muck more. Instead of just keeping it simple. I like it at this stage. I really like this here. And I know when I'm watching my videos to do my voiceover, um, I, often I see them at a certain stage and I think I should have just stopped right there. And I'm feeling like that for the face right now on this one. Just got to find your own way. Take what you learn from me and make it your own. Allow your style to guide you. Just explore and discover your style. So I'm going four times the speed now and I'm going to speed up to eight times the speed at the end. I'm doing my voiceover. Just make a suggestion of that folded up blanket there because that's what the cat's back end disappears into. This is what I mean by mucking adding too much information. I simplified the paws at the end too. I wiped them out and simplified them a little more. The, the toe lines, I guess, is what I mean. Okay, now we're speeding up to eight times the speed. Finish it up a little bit closer up. I love to hear from you, so please do drop me a comment. Tell me about yourself or your cat or where you live in the world or whatever. What you want to learn about cat drawing. I get ideas from viewers' comments. I feel like I should have had the mouth lines more straight across too. I learn so much with every drawing. Carry it forward to the next. It's how you become proficient at your craft. Thanks so much for watching today, and we'll see you next time.